Hello, my fifth graders. Today, we're going to be doing another review, which is changing from um, improper to mixed number and from mixed number to improper. It's an important skill to have. So um, it doesn't really have a number because it's a review. So we're just going to title it Change um, Improper slashed mixed numbers. And so this is my favorite, you guys. It's my absolute favorite. So I was teaching college students one year and um, it was a remedial college class. So we were talking about fractions and we got into stories about our math and stories about how different concepts were taught to students. And I came away with this story that I've been using ever since. So this is um, a pretty old story. And it's all about Ned and his donkey. So we've got Ned the numerator. And his donkey, the denominator. Now, why do you think I have it being Ned and donkey? Mainly because Ned starts with an N and donkey starts with a D denominator. Ned always rides on top of his donkey. Ned is always the top number. The donkey is always the bottom number. Ned always rides on top of his donkey. That's a big part of the story. Now, sometimes Ned gets bigger than his donkey. And when Ned gets too big, he squishes his donkey. Um, if Ned gets too big, he squishes his donkey. And when you squish your donkey, when you squish your friends, it's improper. Don't squish your friends. I'm looking at some of my students. You know who you are. Improper. It's improper to squish your friends. So an improper fraction is when the numerator is larger than denominator. doesn't matter how large, how much larger it is. It is improper when the numerator is larger than the denominator. So if my numerator is five and my denominator is two, five is bigger than two. It is improper. So we then need to go from improper to mix improper to a mixed number. Gotta help the donkey out. Ah, it was, I don't even know why I have a grid, grid paper. I can't seem to uh, manage staying on. Okay, so now we need to go from an improper fraction to a mixed number. To do that, we divide. So remember how we had Ned and his donkey? Well, we also have our house. Here's our house. Donkeys do not go in the house. Now, some people, especially my fifth graders, especially those certain fifth graders are like, well, you can carry the donkey on your back. No, Ned is lazy. Ned does not carry the donkey. Ned likes a clean house, no donkey poop. So donkey stays outside, Ned stays inside. So if I had the fraction, five over two, the top number is Ned. It doesn't matter how big Ned gets, top number is always Ned the numerator. So that goes inside my house. The donkey lives outside the house. You could think of this as the dividend divided by the divisor. Because a fraction is just like this, five being divided by two, okay? Fraction, same thing. I, I, I did like that this symbol, the division symbol, is like a fraction. I thought that was clever. So five 
Ned inside the house, donkey outside the house. So then I have to think, I'm gonna divide. How many twos are in five? How many, what is five divided by two? Well, five divided by two is two, divide. Multiply, two times two is four. Subtract, five minus four is one. I don't have anything else to bring down. Now, if I was going from a fraction to a decimal, I would just keep going, but we're not. We're not doing that. So now I have two with one out of two remaining. See what I did there? I have two holes with one of the two remaining. Let me do another one. Say I have 10 thirds. I have my Ned is 10. He's obviously bigger than the donkey. So I'm gonna build him a house. Ned goes inside the house, donkey goes outside the house. How many threes are in 10? Divide, multiply, subtract, I'm done. So I have three with one out of the three remaining. That's my answer. That's how you go from an improper to a mixed number. Basically, you divide, okay? Now, mixed number to improper. You might be thinking, but why, Ms. Gorman? Why, 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 why would you ever do that? In fact, it makes a lot more sense to leave them improper than it ever is to put the mixed number in terms of like higher level math, but okay. So how do we go from a mixed number to an improper? First, we need a fraction. Let's have three and two thirds. Okay. This means I have three holes and then two thirds of a fraction. So I have three over three, three over three, three over three. That's my three holes, right? One plus one plus one plus two thirds. We never, ever, 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 ever add or subtract denominators. Multiply, divide, sure. Add or subtract, never, never, ever, 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 ever add or subtract denominators. So my denominator stays the same, three. Now I add up all my numerators. Well, I had three plus three plus three, or nine, 10, 11. Another way I do it is I multiply up and I add across. And my denominator never, ever, 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 ever changes. So three times three is nine, plus two is 11. Multiply up, add across. So if I had four and two, I don't know, ninths, I could say nine ninths, nine ninths, nine ninths, nine ninths, or a fast way to add four nines is multiply, right? So four times nine, is 36 ninths. Now I can add my stragglers, my two ninths. So 36, 37, 38. 38 ninths. There you have it, you guys. You have Ned and his donkey. If Ned gets too big, he squishes, he's improper. Improper is where the numerator is bigger than the denominator, which basically you divide. To do the opposite, you multiply and add across. All right, you guys, which kind of makes sense to do the check your answer, you multiply and add the remainder in. And that's kind of what you're doing here. I will see you guys. If not, have an amazing day.